Hello you all beautiful Virgo. Uh, in this whole video we are going to look into your week November 30th to December 6th uh, 2020 and uh, before we go into the reading and I'm shuffling uh, the cards just uh, I don't know, more comfortable. Uh, just to let you know guys that uh, in case you do wish uh, to go for a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're gonna find a full list of my services as well their pricing. And uh, if you do enjoy and like the way I read tarot and you want to explore how to read that way, um, <clears throat> I am offering a tarot class as well. Uh, under the tarot class section of uh, my website and if you do wish to go down that road I highly recommend you to start from the major arcana class first so with that being said Virgo reading for the week the first card that we do have for you guys which does describe the topic of the week is going to be uh, the two of pentacles uh, moving next, uh, this describes uh, the energies that are feeding and supporting the week for you. That will be the Six of Cups. Moving next, it is the challenge that you are to overcome throughout the week here. That is to be the Magician, uh, a very strong challenge to be overcome. It's, um, you are going to, uh, when you do overcome, listen, in Tarot, there are two cards that are next to impossible to overcome as a challenge the most strong the strongest of two is the emperor and almost equal but not quite that is the magician when you do have the emperor in a position in a spread what holds you back or challenge or something like that you need to know that is going to be a rough thing okay it's it's very difficult to overcome these challenges but it's worth it at the end. So, the Magician. Moving next it is the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. And that will be the Four of Cups. Followed by the next one, which stands as um, how people are going to see you. That will be the Star card. Moving next, um, it is uh, the uh, obstacles which are going to hold you back. That will be the Nine of Cups. Followed by what pushes you forward, and that will be the Page of Cups. And the last one, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, which is the Sun. Wow. All right, <clears throat> so. Let's move with the first two cards. Uh, we have uh, the Six of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. And uh, the Six of Cups it is the uh, energies which are feeding up the topic, which is the Two of Pentacles. So what is the topic of the Two of Pentacles? The topic of the Two of Pentacles, it is uh, when one realizes, in this case, you, Virgo, do realizes or come up to a situation in life where, where one understands that times are changing, okay? And what they lived with before, like um, a vision, like a concept, like, um, I don't know, if you will, as a standpoint, for example, how you take on your job, for example, how you take on your friends, and so on and so forth, uh, it's no longer as relevant as it were before and it needs to realign and uh, with the energies we see how this thing happens and with the six of cups it could happen two ways depending on if this relates to your career experience or to your relationship experience career experience it relates to that you do see that with your old ways you can't enjoy your work anymore and you have to align to the new ways or in other words the new concepts or new vision or in very extreme cases the new path that opened for you because there is such thing that comes up later into this reading uh, that makes you 
feel satisfied, makes you feel good about the job you do. And above everything else, allows you to be creative about the job you do. If you are talking about relationships, like intimate relationships or um, <clears throat> friendships, even family relationships, well, this card, well, then divides it from, from friendship or a family relationships to uh, intimate relationships. When it comes to family and friend relationships, it speaks that uh, you will have to start or you are about to start seeing the small jests that people are doing to you, you know, the small favors like smiling to you without having any reason whatsoever. Um, for example, making you those, you know, kind of like small jests that you haven't looked into that deep before, uh, seeing how much people care for you. Uh, and that's, it's not going to reflect that much over the situation itself. But just the point here is that you're going to look into very differently on your social circle, realizing how much, um, it's not even happiness, but satisfaction you can get there. You, you, you can draw from there. And same thing goes for, for the family, you know, if you are um, married from your parents or, or siblings, etc., etc. Now, however, when it comes to intimate relationship, this is when, with the Six of Cups and Two of Pentacles, this, this is when your emotions are going to align with, with, with your physical pull, I don't know how to say it, because the Six of, of, of Cups is when both things work together. You are uh, kind of like you're gonna get simultaneously physically and emotionally attracted. And that doesn't have to happen to a new person, uh, especially with the Two of Pentacles. You can look at your wife, for example, one morning and see it in very different light and that changes your concept. And now if, you know, things went cold beforehand, now you are um, again physically and emotionally attracted to your wife or to your husband, for example. But it could happen as well with uh, somebody brand new to you, especially if you are single, you say that you see that woman or you see that guy and you feel that insatiable hunger toward them because this is what we're talking about because that's what it takes to change vision and to change concept um and the six of cups it's um I i'm taking more time with this card because it's very important it's going to come later on uh, Six of Cups relates to the sincerity uh, and to the to to when the things are innocent. Okay, there there is no premeditation behind them. There there is no surreptitious intentions behind them as well. So for the time being, or for now, what you feel or whatever the other person feel according to those cards, it's pure and it's sincere. So moving next, we do have the challenge that you are to overcome, the magician. And like I said, that's a big one. The first big thing that you gotta do is to secure your sovereignty. You need to know that you are not a thing and you can take your own actions. Uh, of course, take the responsibility of those actions. You are not entitled to anybody and regardless if that's your parent, regardless if that's your uh, wife or your boss, you are not entitled to anybody. And whenever you decide that you are going to either uh, stay and do your work or stay and be in, the, in your relationship or walk away, it, it, it should come from you. And you should not allow anybody to manipulate you either through uh, leverage, which is a physical manipulation, or emotional manipulation. In any case, um, the magician, you need to overcome the challenge to, to learn to accept yourself for who you are, and only that thing or those people that accept you for who you are should be allowed around you. And the last thing, that you will have to overcome with the challenge of the magician? Two things, actually. Um, one of them, it is the correspondency. 
uh, the not the correspondency but the words you put in the, you put out there uh, and it's not that much of a challenge but it comes more to the understanding that what you say is taken as a pure coin meaning that when you say something to to your friend if even if you don't mean it they take it as you you mean it they take it that you are serious about it so with this card don't say something you do not mean throughout the week at least and the last one, it is the indestructibility. Whatever you do create in this week, it stays. It's there to stay and that is the biggest challenge you have to face to create what you want to create or how I like to say it, to make what you want to make and try to make it the way you want to make it, okay? So that is the magician maybe i have missed something and if i kind of like it comes to me i'm gonna come back to it because in this position and follow up the magician is uh, it is like it's infinite it, it's bottomless and you can draw from it constantly new and new kind of like aspects of the challenge so moving next that is the, the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy that is the four of cups and in very milder way the four of cups may play as a um breaking of the routine kind of a gift and blessing you know uh, you don't have to be stuck with the um, same routine and same emotions that you have been stuck before but as a grand gift and blessing this is what we have in the card we do have a person here um, looking at the three cups he already have they're out there he can arrange them the way he wants and now a fourth one have been uh, offered to the person and uh, if that card was in a different position, then it would have mean that you are not looking at that cup, you know, and uh, it will take a, a strong mental effort for you to do it. But as your gift and as your blessing, you are to be completely aware of it. You will know what it means. And based on the card's uh, philosophy, that is what... But, um, can I say that is what mm, revitalizes you uh, it's as simple as that because with the uh, four of cups it is when you know somebody falls into the same thing over and over again like a magic circle and need something to, to break out that magic circle and make you feel life again and it comes about with uh, with this uh, this card or how I can say it it is that whatever um, one accomplishes it has its certain lifespan and at certain points or for you at this point that lifespan is almost over and you have to think of you know new ways to either proceed with that thing to give it another lifespan or to move to another thing and as a gift and blessing the universe have given is giving you that new thing or that opportunity to extend the lifespan moving forward no different than if you have finished the project and uh, you know you are on a pinnacle there everybody is cheering for you and it's taking you for a big deal uh, and it's really grateful that that's in your job but as time progresses two months have passed that challenge that you have overcame it's it's already forgotten nobody really cares anymore this is what i'm talking about and so you do need either a new job or a, a new project to keep up that 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 appeal and praise from the colleagues and that is the gift that this mean or the new opportunity comes uh, comes to you as a gift and blessing from the universe moving next we do have um how people see you uh we do have the star the star card pretty self-explanatory people see you they never saw you happier than you are right now for one or another reason or at least they don't remember seeing you that happy as you are right now um, they see you as a, uh, a, a person who now knows what one wants and it's kind of like pretty determined to get there um, well determination is not exactly the word that I was searching for but it is like a person who wants to get there and wants it really really bad because they see that whatever you are looking toward because they don't see what you are looking toward here the star card it's very personal uh, or the uh, the manifestation through the star is very personal uh, and it's like a, a personal hope and dream okay 
So people see you to do have some kind of a hope and dream here and they see you that you really, really want to get there. They don't see what kind of a hope and dream that is. You feel free to share if you want to, but one of these people are going to see you as everything you or they have ever wanted. Okay, so keep in mind in case we, uh, that reading here relates in terms of law for you. That's like I said with the first card, one morning you may wake up and kind of like recognize your wife that she actually is everything you have ever wanted or with your husband, for example, or with somebody new. You know, you were reluctant, you know, should I give her a go or not? Should I give him a go or not? And one morning you wake up and you realize, oh my God, that, 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 that woman, that girl is everything I have ever wanted. So that is uh, how people see you. Very, very strong impression is what we do have here. The only thing how you can mess it up if you do abuse about the standards. And I need to kind of like emphasize on, on this sentence here or emphasize on that thing. Because as the star moves through the high standards, meaning that all of your standards could be accomplished, there is no boundary of one standard, but the star marks the very first standards, okay? And it's very easy to lose yourself into that state and to keep up increasing the standard constantly and constantly to a point where nobody can actually fulfill or nothing can fulfill that standard. And then you just become or the person who constantly increase their standards, a spoiled brat, I think is how you, I think is how you name it in, in America or in English in general. So don't, just don't do that. Keep up with your initial standards and they are going to, or your initial, um, I don't know, how can I say, dream if you will, that you walk into the week, the week with and uh, it's about to be real. You know, you have a long way to go, but, you are getting there. Uh, moving next, it is the uh, thing that holds you back. That is the Nine of Cups. It's a pretty peculiar card. And I may need a second here to think about it. I hope it makes sense to you because literally doesn't make sense to me, but what holds you back should be the, the sensual joy and the fullness of life you are feeling right now. Or it's also related with it. It's not or, but it also related with it. It could be the lack of opportunity or the ability to, to, to sustain it or the fear that you may not be able to sustain it because the nine of cups, contrary to what the book say, says to you that this is a wish come true, it's true that wish comes true, okay? But the book doesn't tell you that that wish that, that it comes true, it needs maintenance. And that is where the nine of cups comes in. That yeah, you do feel happy. Yes, you are about to feel tremendous joy and content, but it's not gonna last long unless you do unless you do put a maintenance behind if that's about a dream job for example you get into the job but that job is not for granted you have to keep up and live to the expectation of the job otherwise you're gonna get fired in two days and there you go your dream gone so it's not granted and exactly that maintenance that you will have to put here uh, the fear of not being able to putting it may be what is truly gonna hold you back. But I have to be, um, I can't, how can I say, very familiar with your situation to be able to interpret the card according to it, because it's a, again, it's very, very personal card to have. Uh, moving next, it is what uh, moves you forward, what really helps you to move forward. Uh, and that is some kind of an emotional connection that you do have. You may be emotionally connected to your work, meaning truly loving your work. You may be emotionally connected to your family, truly in love with your family. You may be emotionally connected to somebody that you truly love somebody. And that emotional connection is going to just wipe out all the negative thought you have that relates to the details around your situation and instead is going to make you look into the overview, just, just to imagine what the future can be, that, that future, guys, I mean, that future, 
okay, that future. And uh, with this thought and those beautiful emotions, because you are going to have those beautiful emotions, whether you like it or not, uh, it's pretty much granted to you by the, uh, by the energies that are going to just swipe in. And uh, if you are feeling angry all the time, you are to be surprised and realize that anger, it's not the only good feeling that you may have. But uh, with the um, Page of Cups, yeah, you are going to focus on the future and what could be in the future. And uh, it's very possible that throughout the week as well, you may start taking the very first rearrangements or, or realignments of to make that future possible. Because uh, if it is in a general position, the Page of Cups is when you do see a change that is just in general, you know, when a change is kind of like looming on the horizon <clears throat> and uh, one needs to kind of like prepare for the change. How? When makes a crucial reassessment of oneself. Well, that's something that I will mention later. So uh, a crucial reassessment of oneself and uh, repositions itself. So changes one's positions in regards to job or, or, or love. But as I said, crucial reassessment and emotions. Maybe you're going to make a crucial reassessment to your emotions and, you know, that, that is exactly, and then you're going to realize, you know, where your emotions are, where your heart is, in which project, in which person, and so on and so forth. And uh, if that's the case, you will have no doubt um, what you want. And that is what's going to make you move forward. And the last one here we have for you, uh, Virgo, that will be the guidance. We do have the Sun card. Only one sentence, just follow what makes you happy because sun is happiness, but it is not that selfish happiness. Sun, the sun card, represents that mm, golden soul that floats through the sky and drops happiness bit by bit everywhere it goes. This is the card that says that you are going to be happy when you make somebody happy. So, uh, and yeah, and, and pretty much it's like shared happiness. On the more practical level, the sun card represents uh, just in general expanding energies of growth and natural progression. So if that happiness that I said about doesn't make any sense to you, then the guidance is just follow what feels natural to you, where your pool is, okay, and where you can progress with your life moving forward that should make you happy as well so um that being said virgo this was your a weekly general tarot reading a beautiful one a little bit on the long end but i really felt the need to explain uh more how can i say thoroughly here with the six of cups because otherwise some kind of a uh uh, a misunderstood message could plan into who could plant into a one's mind. A lot is riding on this train, guys, throughout the week for you, Virgo. Uh, your um, happiness and and uh, how can I say? Well, how for some of you, your love is going to be riding on the train, and you definitely want in that particular case. I believe so, at least your train to end up or to start drive into the right destination. So this was uh, your weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it just as much as I do. I rarely, I will be honest, I rarely or seldom, seldom is the word, not rarely. So I seldom enjoy uh, readings of other star signs. What I mean is that I really connect to them because I'm not that star sign, so I can't connect to the reading. But um, here it was, uh, it was something else. And uh, yeah, hopefully you do enjoy it just as much as I did. And uh, we are to see each other around. Until then, bye.